In this video, I'm very excited to share with you my favorite way to defend Trips Tied In in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And today we're talking about some match defense that you can use to really lock down a lot of what the Trips tight end style of offense is like to do now really quickly before we dive too deep in this video i want to let you know that i just released a one hour and 10 minute tutorial on how to run cover four match um, against pretty much every meta offense in the game and if you want to get that full tutorial it is available in my text message membership for those of you that don't know my text message membership is a playlist that i put together where every week we release a new offense or a new defensive scheme in that playlist. And so if you want to sign up for that, it's completely free to do so. All you have to do is text me. Now, I did get a new cell phone number. And so my new cell phone number is 208 218-6900. So shoot me a text message and if you could just do me a favor and send the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I've set it up so that it will automatically send you guys the link to the playlist um, for the cover four match defense as well as several other schemes like the bunch, the big nickel, the split close, the trips tight end, the bunch tight end, um, the three three five wide, the dub, uh, the big nickel over G. So if you wanna get all of those schemes as well as any additional schemes that we're gonna add throughout the course of the rest of the season, go ahead and shoot me that text message and use that word, that keyword Madden so that it will automatically send you uh, the playlist. Okay. So how do you stop trips tight end? Um, we're gonna be utilizing the 335 wide and I'm gonna show you a play out of the cover four show too. Now really quickly, I wanna show you my coaching adjustments here. You'll see that my coaching adjustments are basically all set to default. Uh, I might change a couple things here and there, but all my zone drops are set to default because we're gonna be playing some match coverage. Now, um, here's how you, here's basically how you do it. So, uh, first and foremost, if you know anything about trips tight end, you're going to know that um, the biggest problem in the trips tight end is the slot receiver. The slot receiver is the most important receiver in this offense, number 17. Um, the first receiver to the inside is the most important player. So, uh, I'm going to audible down from three through five normal so I can get better personnel. And what I'm going to do here, and one of the things that I do recommend, like let's say you come out and you look like this, click onto this middle linebacker and just wiggle him a little bit so he doesn't move whenever you audible. That's really, really important because it won't tell them what you're doing. It'll look just like any zone coverage. The next thing you want to do is you want to shift your D-line to the running back side and you want to spread your linebackers and crash your line out. This spreading of the linebackers is really the secret because it's going to put this left side linebacker in a very good position to be able to play man-to-man -man coverage on Devontae Adams on that left of screen uh, inside slot receiver. So all we're going to do is we're going to man up our left of screen linebacker against their left of screen slot receiver. So um, I'm going to man up the square linebacker onto the circle receiver here. And once we do that, it's very subtle, but we're just going, instead of, we're not gonna shade our coverage underneath, we're gonna just simply shade our coverage inside. And what you're gonna notice here is this safety will almost always win a press animation against that slot receiver. The last step we're gonna do is we're gonna take our defensive end on the right side and we're gonna put him in a bluff blitz and obviously blitz our user and pass commit. And you're going to see this is just basic cover four quarters, but because we've manned up their biggest problem, which is that slot receiver, we are now going to be in a very good position. And what you'll notice here is he'll literally almost always win that man coverage. Sometimes he won't, like right there he didn't. If he ever doesn't win the man coverage, your job as the user is to go help with him, okay? Um, because that slot receiver is literally the biggest problem. I would rather them try to force bad reads um, to their running back or try to force other things all day long. I don't want to get beat by that slot. Um, it's kind of one of those things where it's like I want to make them play left-handed and that's how I do it. So I almost always will instantly run at the slot and you'll see here, see that's what we're looking at more and now look at that, look at that man coverage just completely take it away. Now there's no way to hit that route. 
Now, let's say that, for example, they're running a crossing route. Now, a crossing route is a little bit different than a post route in terms of how the match coverage will play it. So I'm gonna set up a route combination here that is, is kind of similar to what we just ran, but it, it's a little different. Um, so here's your, here's your route combination. Again, we're gonna wiggle this guy. We're gonna come in and set up our, our play. Right, and that's the set. That's the setup. And the snap a ball. Once you watch this here again, see he wins it again. Wins the press animation again, and as you see, it takes it away completely. That's the key to this whole defense. If you can get that press animation to win, you will win. And that press animation will win about 75% of the time. Um, so on the times that it doesn't win, that's where you need to be on your A game, and you need to be watching that slot because that is the player that can mess things up. No other player on the field can really give you that much of a difficult time other than the running back. And as long as you can kind of contain that running back, this doubles in sale play is a quarters beater. And what you'll see here again, as long as you get that, you see right there, I mean, that's a tight window throw. That's a very tight window throw. And he did get the win of, he did win the press animation. So, you know, what I would recommend, you put your best player there that can press and um, you're going to live with that because they're not going to beat it every time. They're, they're really not going to beat it every time. They're only going to beat it a couple of different times. And the beauty of this is you're watching. If they win the press, just go cover it, right? If they win the press, just go cover them. Every single time, you don't have to worry about anything intermediate on the left side because you got that three rep hook, right? So at the snap of the ball, every time, I'm instantly running at him. I'm running at him. Okay, they win the press. Okay, now I got to recover in here. If we win the press, I'll recover onto the running back or to the to the other slot receiver. If we don't win the press, then I'll take the slot and I will live with the running back being able to hit me over the middle of the field. Okay, so I'll show you this is crow flat again. And I just want you to watch. Snap of the ball. I'm always jetting out. I jet out. Okay, he won the press or he the, the guy won, so I need to I need to hang with him. And I'll live with, and we'll show you in this replay what's going to happen. The running back's not always going to get open, but he's going to have a pretty good chance at getting open if you don't use him on this specific play. You'll see right here, comes in. Like, that is, you know, I mean, that's 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 not bad. Like, if they try to force that, they probably can, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible, okay? But now you're in, you know, relatively decent uh, positioning to be able to stop a lot of what they want to do. Um, the biggest key to stopping this trips tight end is 100% that slot receiver. If you can take that slot receiver out of the way and you can make them have to go to somebody else, um, you're, you're going to be sitting pretty, okay? Um, this little quick flat route to the running back, I'll live with that. I'll live with that. That is open, but I'll live with that. And then at the right time, I'll put a hard flat out there or I'll man him up, you know, one of the two. You know, and what, what, I, what I would do is, is I would go ahead, if I was going to man the running back up, you know, we don't really have to worry about the flat, so I would just man that linebacker up onto the running back. And now, if they try to throw the flat flat route, now you've got him there. You know, it's like, I'll live with that. But as you can see, this defense takes away a lot of what Trips Titan wants to do. Now, the, other, the only other tip that I have for you as far as how to stop this offense is 100% if they motion. Um... You'll find that the cover four quarters plays a lot better if they motion. So uh, let's say that they're running PA counter go and they run that motion slam. Okay. Uh, all we're going to do here is whenever they motion, whoever they motion. So whoever they motion, we are going to do uh, a little bit of a cross man type of deal. So we're basically going to flip it. So what that looks like is we know from experience that a lot of times that that whoever they motion is going to be on a, a a slant or a post or something. So whenever they motion him, we're just going to man that linebacker up on whoever they motion. And what you'll see now is because of the spacing of everything, now everything's taken away, and they're thrown into they're thrown into contested zones. So that little tip right there, those two little things, man them up. Always, always, always do not press coverage and always wiggle your user and just make sure that you shade inside. Do not shade underneath. If you shade underneath, it'll mess the whole defense up as long as you just shade inside. Your first thing is I'm running here. If he wins, okay, then I can recover down here. And as you can see, it doesn't matter how long they wait. If you win that press, it's going to take, take him completely out of the game. So I recommend if you're in mutt, 
I 100% rec recommend running with a one step ahead right there. If you have one step ahead on him, that's that's going to be huge. Uh, I would 100% recommend running this defense with one step ahead. Um, I, I like to run four one step aheads because one step ahead does actually matter when you run match coverage it also helps so you can play really good man coverage but thanks for watching this video if you want to get the full defensive ebook it is just 15 dollars, and it is in the description we actually just put out a huge update to it as well um, to kind of update you guys on some of the latest uh, tips and strategies out of it and again that link is available for you in the description if you want to get that complete cover four uh, quarters tutorial that is in my text message membership all you have to do to sign up for that is text the word madden to my cell phone number which is 208 218 thanks for your time today i hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys uh, tonight on stream at 10 p.m eastern time